Hello everybody, it's Torin here from Weeper Gaming, and welcome back to episode 6 or 7, I'm not too sure, of how to program simple plugins for Bucket. Now, in the last episode, we managed to sort the debugging methods out with booleans, which is the value of true or false, as I said before, and we abruptly finished on the actual debugging of it, where it gets the player and it sets it in. Uh, to finish this method, we just need to end it with a parenthesis. And I'm just going to carry on with uh, another boolean. I'll just annotate it. Uh, the method enabled, which checks to see if the player is in the hash map. I can't type to save my life. Right. Now we're going to sort out another boolean, which will be public boolean enabled player. Again, it's showing if it's if the player is enabled in within the hash map. Uh, we have the parenthesis. It will return if this basic user contains the key of the player. Now, that might seem well, that might seem quite confusing at first, but to explain, it's checking to see if the value of true or false is enabled and if it's an instance of a player which works as player player and if it is enabled it will return uh, if the basic user contains a key value of a player so that kind of makes sense so it's basically just another way to check if it still has the player within the key uh, so I know that wasn't really explained that well but I'm trying to get these episodes pumped out as soon as possible so if this is quite a minor part of the code so there's really no point explain, uh, explaining it too much, and I need to put semicolon on there to sort it out. Right, now the main part of this episode will be about the toggle vision. Now this, what the toggle vision will do is, well whenever the player types the command, it will toggle the vision when the player is on the hash map, when he uses the command, uh, or it will remove the player when the doesn't use the command well, when he deactivates the command. So to put that simpler, toggle vision is there to add the player to the hash map when they use the command, or remove the player from the hash map when they disable the command. So we're gonna get sorting. We're gonna get going to sort that now. We need to enter that down there. And okay, that's good. We're gonna sort the public void now, and it's public void void toggle vision. Again, we're checking if it's the player. Enter your parenthesis because it's starting a new part. We're going to be pissing in. Yeah, if it's enabled. And again, player with a lowercase p this time. And we'll enter that. And then another parenthesis. It will do this basic remove. And the key just defines the player there. So again, I'll just pause it here and we'll talk about it. Uh, some of this is... I've probably typed some of this wrong actually. Oh wait, no, it's because I haven't finished the actual stuff yet. Uh, what is it doing it is defining the method of the toggle vision and it will check if it's the player. If it is enabled and it is a player, it will get the basic user hash map and it will remove the player. So that's basically what we're doing there. Uh, we'll do... and the way you send a player a direct message in bucket is the code that is coming now. You do player dot send message and we do uh, brackets again, speech marks and your message your message goes here so we can say hello. But we don't want to, we want to put basic disabled. Now whenever the user types um, forward slash basic or forward slash b Whenever they are deactivating the command, they will get the message basic disabled. Seems simple enough, which it is. So let's put our semicolon and not screw up the code. Then we need to do another else statement, which if you remember from last time, it is going through if it is enabled, etc. If it's not, else do this. And the other thing we're going to be doing is this dot basic users dot and Actually, I'll type the code out and then I'll explain it. Player, I don't want the value there, thank you. Player, null. And what we're doing here 
is we're checking well it's saying if it is enabled and it will remove them from the basic users hash map and it will send it a player the message if it's not it will else do this it will put the player within the hash map if not then it will put the null which is nothing it will cancel it and then we're going to want to send them a message again which is send message basic enabled which is all good and well and now I've done a few errors wrong there so let me just have a look uh, do I need that there? Nah, there you go. One too many parentheses, which I which, yeah, which I was telling you about. Parentheses can ruin all of your work when you're doing stuff in Java. All right, guys, I'm back, and it turned out I accidentally put a parentheses here, and it was only it wasn't getting any code because it's redundant. So it's removed that, and everything is good with the code. Now let's save it, and oh, there's hardly any errors apart from the basic block listener, and obviously we haven't got round to well creating the block listener and they're the only areas we have so that will be the focus for next episode I think we've practically almost done everything in the main class which what we will we'll recap now is we've got our necessary imports define the package we have created a method which extends the Java plugin which defines everything we're doing like the block listener the hash map we sorted out the public void on disabled, which will uh, send out a message to the log, which says basic disabled when the server is closed down. Uh, whenever the server is started up, or when the plugin is enabled, more specifically, it will register the events under the plugin manager, player command, block place, and it will send out a message to the log, getting the version name, and it will say it is enabled. And in today's episode, as again, we finished the debugging of the hash map. And we added the toggle vision, which again will uh, add or remove players from the hash map. Um, so yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope this helps you. Um, join us for episode 7, I think it must be. We've come quite a long way. Uh, in the next episode, as I said, we'll be doing the block listener, which is my favourite part of programming, is uh, well, manipulating the box in Minecraft. So join us for that episode. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Uh, they, these always come out round about 8 p.m. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern, I think. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. <clears throat> so, as I said, subscribe so you don't miss it, and I'll see you guys then. Alright, bye.